Oh, okay. Okay, Rob, do you want to start? I'm sad. I'm frustrated. Early goals in each half. Had to come from behind twice. Had to work very hard to come from behind twice and put in a very good effort and work hard. Had a lot of the ball and worked hard to create those chances and half chances, which eventually got us back into the game at two-two. So to then concede a third goal and lose the game, that's that's hard to take. Yeah, he doesn't simulate. If you know the player, you would know that if Eze gets into the situation there where he's beating someone on the goal line and he's heading still and looking for a chance to either shoot and score or pass the ball for someone else, he doesn't simulate. Whether it was a penalty or not, I don't know. But it wasn't simulation. I did mention that to Anthony Taylor. But of course, to be fair, the referee, he doesn't know Eze and the type of person he is and he saw it as simulation, so he gets the yellow card. But... Uh, it only makes a difference in the sense that there's he then has to be very careful with every sort of challenge because he, he bumped into someone five minutes later and the whole of the Everton bench was screaming for him to be sent off. And the, sorry, just on that, I mean, he's effectively calling the player a cheat, isn't he, by saying that he's diving? Yeah, but to be fair, it's a, it's a tough, I'm not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame the referee as much as that. I mean, there is that element that, you know, if someone books you for simulation, you are basically being accused of cheating, so I agree with you. But I'm not certain the referee had that in his mind. I think that he didn't want to give the penalty because he didn't think it was a penalty. So there's two alternatives then. And Couldn't the VAR have said, you might be good, OK, no penalty? No, I don't think the VAR intervened in those, but you'll have to check that out. But in my... To the best of my knowledge, which isn't great when it comes to VAR, I don't think they intervene in those matters. Um, I think it goes back to a very common situation we have in football today that we do not accept grey. So either you give the penalty or you give simulation. There might just be, it was neither. Neither penalty nor simulation, but we never get that. OK, Ed. What do um, you think when you got that to you could go on? win the game and also a little bit concerned about the home ball just the one win the of course very concerned um, I, th I thought that when we equalised we'd be able to work very hard for that equaliser and I thought it played well enough to get that equaliser too my major thought then was that we've done very well to come back from those two very cold showers at the start of each half and get ourselves a point from the game and if we're sensible and we continue playing some sensible football, we might even get a, an, a, a winner. But I, I wasn't hell-bent on the winner at the expense of opening ourselves up for a third goal. But having said that, I don't think we conceded the third goal because we were hell-bent on a winner and we opened ourselves up. We conceded the third, go third goal because... We didn't, uh, we didn't defend <laughs> one of their attacks well enough. Any other questions? Yeah, how much of a boost was it to have Elise say come back on the show? Him and Eze, and Eze's in that first part. Yeah, we, we, we've said, and it's, it's a statement of the obvious, that when you have two players of that quality and they're back fit and playing again, it, it will make us a better team. Uh, we will be more dangerous, we will have more quality in, in those attacking areas when those two are back in, in play and I thought that was pretty clear for all to see today so we're very happy about that but unfortunately it didn't help us today because their, their re-entry I mean for Ezzy on the second occasion and for Michael on the first you know their first re-entry is a defeat and it doesn't matter that people might then write that, that those two actually did some good things and played quite well they're team players, and they they want to be in a winning team. And today they go off in, you know, hopefully in Ezzy's case, we don't know, but if he does get selected, uh, they go and leave us um, on the basis that, yeah, I'm back, but I lost. Check the core on the bench just with this management problem at the start of the week as you decided it wasn't worth the risk of the back 
Yeah, partly that and partly because Will Hughes did so very, very well against um, Burnley. You know, there was no real reason to take him or Lerma out of the team. They didn't particularly deserve that after their performance at, at Burnley. Um, Ez coming back in meant someone had to make way in that period. So I could have taken Lerma out, I could have taken Will Hughes out, or I could have left Ducouré, who's now going off anyway with Marley to, to play games. He's been... He's been cleared uh, from the injury, but he was only cleared uh, on Friday. So between Monday and Friday, we didn't see him. He was with the sports science people, and they only actually gave him a clearance to be available on uh, Saturday, on Friday, to play this game today. So it was a pretty easy decision to start him on the bench rather than to start him for 90 minutes in the game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what he had to do today, he he, he did well. He, he was faultless for the three goals, of course. But as I think I said yesterday in a Sky interview, that for for Gareth Southgate, it's a it's a tough decision. You know, he's, he hasn't just got one very good goalkeeper. I think he's got two, uh, three. You could argue with Ramsdale, although he's not playing so much at the moment. Uh, and he has to decide which one he thinks is best and which one he likes best. But we certainly like our goalkeeper and think he's very good. And if if he was ever picked for England, he'd get our full backing from here, of course. But I don't intend to put any sort of pressure myself on Gareth and his decision-making because he sees the pair of them in an England environment and he chooses the one that he thinks is the best one to play. Um, and I think he would agree with me that whichever one of those two plays, England will keep on winning. Last one from Ed. Just, just to follow up on that, on, on Ed, um, was, he, was he not called up by England? Was that a request from you to say he's not one? No, no, no. I don't make requests to him. No. I'm just reading between the lines. Um, I think it was obvious that he wasn't called up in a way because he, he only came off the bench uh, to play the last 25, 30 minutes against Burnley. So I think the England people are quite in their rights and justified in thinking, well, he's obviously not fully fit, but I, I'm rather hoping, now that having seen him play this full 90 minutes, if they are looking for a player to bring back into their squad in place of the injured Madison, maybe, as he will be an alternative. But I've got no idea if that's the case or not. Uh, if you want to know if that's going to happen or not, I'm afraid you'll have to You'll have to contact Gareth Southgate. Okay. Thanks. Thanks very much, everyone. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks.